What is up guys, so today I'm going to be painting my uh, interior dash trim right here with this banner red which I hope will match my exterior if not it'll look stupid but yeah I'm going to show you guys what I do, you guys can really do this with any color and kind of just gives you an extra pop I was going to uh, go with this right here, the dash being black just for a little contrast, but I thought, why not just go balls out? So, yeah, um, when you're removing this, first of all, this little piece right here, you just want to pop that. So that comes right out, little ashtray in there. Um, if you don't, sometimes it'll get caught, which, not a good thing. Also, there's two clips underneath here um, by your brake. Uh, undo those. And when you're popping it out, when you're just pulling it out, be careful of your hazard light. Um, it's really easy just to yank this thing off. I almost did it. I yanked it out and I tried to force it. Um, don't do that. So. Yeah, I'm just going to do those things real quick, and then I'll get right back to you when I have this thing off. Peace. Alright, so I have the dash out, and that is the part that is from under here. Um, there's two bolts, and I think they're supposed to be 7mm, but mine were stripped out for some reason, so I had to use those fancy little things over there to get them out. Um, so this is what it looks like when you have the dash completely off your car. Um, when you're taking the panel out, um, there is a little connector right here for your dashboard that you really want to remove, otherwise you're going to be yanking this out and break that wire. Um, also when you're doing this part, when you're done with the bottom, the bottom is just the two screws, and then once you're done with the two screws and two clips, it literally just pulls out. You then want to um, lower your steering column all the way and hold it down, otherwise it'll go up. Lower it, and then um, once you have it all the way lowered, you push this down, and as you're pushing that down, pull it off. Uh, once you pull it off, you're going to ha have to like angle it out because it's going to want to get caught right here. And if you just try and pull it straight out, it's not going to work. You have to kind of flip it like that like that <laughs> um but yeah i got everything out ran kind of smoothly i guess um but yeah i'm gonna get about to getting this thing prepped up for paint and i'll be back when that is ready peace all right guys so i'm back i have a taped off all the areas I don't want to paint. I think I'm going to be painting these black or keeping them how they are. I don't really know yet, but um, yeah, I've also went through and lightly scuffed the area with some high grit sandpaper um, just so the paint bonds a little bit better to it. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I cleaned it up and yeah, I have my little painting mat down now. And I'm going to get to painting this. Um, I'm probably going to start off with two really, really light coats. Just so I can get something for the paint to bond to. And after that, I'm just going to start slapping it on. So I'll probably get back to you after I get the first two coats done. And then uh, see how it looks when it's finished. So, yeah. See it. Alright, so just a little check-in video. Um, this is two coats later. It kind of has the uh, 40th anniversary look. Obviously, you can see there's some different lines from the paint. But it looks kind of cool like this. But I'm going to go balls out with it and um, do probably two more coats and see how that is. But I want it to be as red as that. It's not quite there yet, so wait for this to dry, put on two more coats, and I'll be back then and um, show you what I'm doing. And 
the coats that I'm doing, here, let me show you right now. They're really light. They're like uh, about a foot away. I'm just doing that. And that's about it for the area that I'm at. So I'm doing really light coats just to make sure that um really sticks to it because it's gonna be out in the sun. I usually don't park my car in the garage because my parents park in here. But it's gonna be out in the sun and I just wanna make sure it has the best finish so it doesn't rub off or anything like that. And I also don't want any um, paint drips, orange peeling effect type deal. So I'm just really making sure that turns out good just because it's a pain in the ass to get off. So yeah, I'll come back when I have the other two coats on, peace. All right, so I finished doing all the coats that I wanted to do. As you can see, pretty nice finish, except in the areas that I skimped out on. And it's sand very well, like right there, you can see some bubbling. I mean, I could leave it if I really, really didn't care about it, but um, I'm gonna wait for it to dry completely and then I'm gonna sand over in that area that area a little bit up there try and go over it see if it'll get rid of the bubbles if it doesn't it's whatever it's really not noticeable but um yeah it turned out really well it's the color we were going for and that's the color that we got so I think it's really nice um one thing is you really I kind of tried um, blasting the layers on, and that's when I got those bubbles. If it will focus, you guys see them. But um, so yeah, you really just want to keep doing light coats. That's how I messed up. Like the places that turned out nice, I did really light coats, and I just went over it a bunch of times. This is probably about six or seven coats, which sounds like a lot, but. I mean, I'm trying to get a really nice finish. I haven't even used my one can yet, so it's worth it. I mean, seven bucks to do this pretty much. So, yeah, I'll get back to you when this dries and I'm gonna sand uh, all those parts down and I'll let you see how it turns out. Well, this is the finished product. Um, turned out really nice. I mean, this is one of those things where like, as always with painting prep works key, you know. Tried to sand that down, repaint it. Didn't really work. I'd have to pretty much take another 15 minutes sand it all down, cleaning it, so I didn't really feel like doing that. So I stuck with it. It's really not bad. I mean, I'm sure sooner or later I'll get sick of it, rip it out again, repaint it, do something. Just got an airbrush, so I might airbrush something. Onto this a pattern or something, I don't really know. But it turned out really nice. It's pretty shiny. I didn't want it too shiny, but I think it's pretty perfect how it is. But yeah, um I'm gonna cut over to it installed in the Grand Prix over there, and you guys will be able to see what it looks like on the inside. Um so yeah, see you in a second for you and like an hour for me. See ya. Alright guys, so I have it installed on the Grand Prix and it's looking really nice. And I mean you can do this with any car, you know, any trim pieces like you get a door handle you could take off. You could do that, you could do this little bezel in here. You could do this part right here. You could really do anything. This is just kinda what I wanted to do with my car. Damn, I think it looks, um, I think it looks super nice. I think I'll definitely have to, uh, start doing my own paint work in here. But yeah, I mean, it's not the best finish, but it really looks nice. So, yeah, thanks you guys for uh, watching if you enjoyed leave a like down there subscribe if you have any ideas of what I should do next please leave a comment I'm always looking for new things to do and I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day peace